we need to get this one guy drunk. That will give us ah, new clues, I guess. Let's talk later. Europita's drunk. Yeah, I have to select it now because I don't know which guy it is. Oh, wait. A new this guy. Is a bone. Ha, that in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the orange ape. Tell me, what does it think? I am called many things. It isn't one of them. What do you call yourself then? Creature of many names? Alexios. Hmm. I wouldn't peg you as an Alexios. But never mind. I'm Aristophanes. And this man is Evripides. Oh, go on. Introduce yourself. I'm Evripides. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old Evripides likes to say. Don't you, Evripides? When I need to relax, I start to fight. For you, though. Quickly, bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. A <laughs> drinking companion. Oh, oh competition, oh my bad. Could both use a drink. Let's play a game. A competition? Ah, wonderful idea. Every PD seems quiet, but he never turns down a challenge. Well, if you brought us some wine, I wouldn't be opposed to showing this young one how we Argives drink. I might still be his drinking buddy. I wanna get drunk too. I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. And yet, it gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Let's focus on that first, shall we? Nah, it was worth a shot. Let's conjure Dionysos, shall we? I guess the drunker he is, the more eager he'll be to talk. This... this is pure swill. Amateur. In my day, this would be considered nectar of the gods. Another round! He likes the sweet wine. Why don't you just apologize to Sophocles? It's he who should apologize to you. Sophocles is a friend, and one good friend is worth an entire family. He just needs time to recover from his outburst. Pericles has invited all of you here for some reason. Either we dine here and praise Pericles, or we dine with Cleon. But Cleon has all the charm of a typical politician. A horrible voice, bad breeding, and vulgar manners. Politics haven't changed that much. Yeah, I can hardly stomach this pig's piss. I could outdrink both of you with one hand. Let's have some more. Oh, he likes it. <laughs> drink another. is terrible. You, I like you. <laughs> who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every Pivis, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know, it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she would trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. Hippocrates in Argos. Here I come. That was really fun. Singing. Well, that could be fun too. First, let's talk to this guy. How's every this? Drunk, I hope. You 
can stop hiding in here. Every Pelis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? Keep this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Okay. Drink up, complete it. Well, that's pretty easy. Okay, drunk boys. Still want to talk to me? Well, Socrates is first. Mmm, choices. Ah, if it isn't the one who agrees that knowledge is most important. I think we agreed our use of that knowledge couldn't be more different. Ah, you remember. Perhaps our conversation can continue. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? Hmm. You've been arguing a single point all night and no one has a black eye? You have my attention. We're discussing the nature of rules. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasymachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient, and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! Well, he has a point. I've seen enough of the world to know that there are no just rulers. Even Pericles is self-serving. Is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby saving his own life, self-serving? I'm not sure that's the case. Ruling a city and fighting in battle are different things. By practicing the art of war, doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops a ferry ride to Hades? When a swift retreat would save all their lives. He has a point. You just said a general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. Then you said he is self-serving because retreating would save the lives of his men. What are you trying to say? I never tried to say anything. But you just said those things. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. <laughs> Aspasia. Alexia's pretty smart too. I couldn't help but notice your talents for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Alexios can help. Everyone listens when he talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Alexios will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. Um. Well, thank you. Your spies have been watching me. I knew you people couldn't be trusted. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. Yeah, they're fine. These may but be weapons nice are better. Clothes I've ever worn, but I feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. 
If you'd like to talk, do it now and do it discreetly. I've been searching for a woman named Mirin, my mother. I think she may be in danger, and my search brought me here. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a oh, that's nice, we're making friends. To come down here and greet his guests. Right, right, right. Person on a balcony. Uh, are there like stairs or? Mm, don't want to accidentally leave. Everybody wants to talk to me. It's good. Can I knock him over? <laughs> yes, I can. That's funny. Oh, look at them. They're like, what happened? Mm, it's just a creepy dark room. Can't just. I'm not allowed to climb. Son of a bitch. I'm obviously missing something. It's usually the case. Oh, there she is. You just got here. You can't leave yeah, but already. What? But. Weren't you supposed to go with me upstairs? Mm. Well, that's not what I'm looking for. Ah, uh, yes, little yellow arrow. I know where it is. I just know how to get there. It's like an elevator. <laughs> Control rope. Nothing. Oh, maybe I just have to talk to somebody first. Dionysus, there you are. Everyone else here is boring. Let's play a singing game. You like to sing? You like to sing. Let's do this. I want to play too. <laughs> but who should start? I like his enthusiasm. Every PD should start. It was his idea. Fine, fine, but let's do a good one. A battle song? Is there any other kind? At the flick of a limb comes Aspasia's whim, and Pericles' walls aim to contain us all within. Uh, ooh. What sport and families lose, they lose for duty. When Spartan fathers refuse, they refuse beauty. But the dangerous part are the Athenian darts who go for the meat when they should go for their heart. Oh, 
also bring your merchants and bring their butlers. If they be sons, they bring their fathers. This is war, war, war. Bring your murderers to the crimson quiver. Bring the helots if they be spillers. It is war, war, war. Oh, my turn. Without our fathers and mothers, we rose straight to Hades or the belly of Milos. We are alone, and so we row for a short life. We row, row, row. <laughs> The stupid sweepers, the genius teachers, all just meats and juice and liver. For when our wars are done, after lives are lost and blood has run, we must rejoin our broken daughters and our sons, reunited together. <laughs> you, you're a great singer. The best. <laughs> you should act in my plays. Here, take this to remember the occasion. This party has turned out much better than I ever could have expected. Oh, they're easily pleased. Ah, that was fun. A fun little mini game. Still doesn't help me to get upstairs, but. Uh. Ah, oh, son of a... Jesus, giant stairs. Uh, okay. Well, we got to do the singing game, so I'm happy. Let's talk to this dude. Oh, he's here. Knock, knock. I kind of like this quest. Something different. Now you show up. Alexios, I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Yeah, blow me. Phoebe did nothing wrong. Aspasia asked her to let me in. Ah, uh, of course she did. I can't say I'm thrilled about going down and speaking to everyone. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Herodotus and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. Hmm, <laughs> let's go ask Phineas some questions. Was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. And, of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but... One day, when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. I don't understand why you had Anaxagoras ostracized. Socrates said he was your friend. I won't risk the lives of those close to me if there's something I can do about it. So you did this to protect him? Anaxagoras understood my fears. Ten years may be a long time, but at least he'll be safe. Okay. Why send Meteochos to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. It seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. Okay, now for the main one. Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Erovados was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future.
Now the cult is huge. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to him, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm related to one of the cult members, and I believe her when she says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. I've got multiple clues, so... Hmm. Leave the symposium. Guess we're done here. I do want my gear back. Can just jump out of the building. I'm not allowed, by the way, because I'm very limited in my movement. I can walk. Walk and talk. There's also le oh yeah, the it's a friendly leader. I'll do you want to talk to me? However I can during your travels. Guess not. Alright. Ready to go. You look tired. Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need a weapon after all. Are you leaving? I've had enough yeah. Indian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? I really don't know. There's a woman on the island of Chaos that I need to meet. I think I'll head there first. I've heard there are pirates there. I'll be sure to be careful. Good. Before you go, I heard something from Aspasia. About Kefalonia. What is it? She said there was some sort of plague. You don't think... My friend, the blood fever. Don't think like that. Whatever happened on Kefalonia isn't our fault. I'll go myself and find out if this plague even happened. Okay? Okay. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. Yeah, well, it was maybe kind of our fault, but it is what it is. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Alexios! Oh. Oh, we did it! Berkeley's Symposium? Done. Got a lot of information, a lot of new side quests. We also leveled up. Good. All the talking helped, Alexios. Sometimes words help. Aww.